Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Nostalgia Shader for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search bar and type in a website called Modrinth, like so. Once you entered, you should see Modrinth.com, simply click on Modrinth, and this will bring you to the homepage for Modrinth. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to shaders. Then, simply go and search shaders and type in Nostalgia Shader. Like so. And once you did this, you should see Nostalgia Shader here. Simply click on the name and this will bring you to the homepage for Nostalgia Shader on Modern. Okay, now simply click versions and download the latest one. So, Nostalgia Shader 5.0. Click the green download button. And once you have downloaded the shader pack, all you want to do is go to a new tab and get yourself Iris shaders so you'll be able to run Nostia shader on Minecraft. So simply type in Iris shaders and here you should see Iris shaders are dev as a website. Simply click on Iris shaders and it should bring you to the homepage for Iris shaders. Simply click download now and click download universal jar. And this will give you a .jar file here. So, what you want to do is simply go to a new tab. And you only need to do this if you don't really have Java installed. And if you cannot actually run the .jar file. What you want to do is simply go ahead and download yourself JDK 23. And I will have this website linked in the description as well. But simply click on Java Downloads. And once you're on this website, that should look something like this. Simply scroll down. Find JDK 23. Select Windows if you're using Windows, and download the x64 installer. Okay, so once you have filled out everything here, simply close your web browser, and then you want to open up your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Once you've found your downloads, what you want to do is simply double click the iOS installer. And once you're here, you want to select your game version. You want to select if you want iOS only or iOS with fabric if you want to add some mods. And just click install. Once you're done, just close the iOS installer and open up your Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we want to, just to check if we have iOS currently installed and we'll be able to add Nostalgia Shader to our installation tab here. So here we can see that we have iOS and Sodium, good. And like I said earlier, we want to go to the installation tab here and you want to hover over iOS and Sodium to go to the folder icon. Once you did this, simply find Shader Packs, double click Shader Packs, then you want to go to Downloads, you want to select and copy Nostalgia Shader. You want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click Paste. What we've done here, we just added .minecraft shader packs Nostalgia. Well, you want something that looks like this. Okay, so once you added Nostalgia here, what you want to do is go to the Minecraft Launcher. You want to go to Play. You want to make sure Iris and Sodium is indeed selected and you want to click Play. Here it is just going to download all the required files and folders for Iris and Sodium to run. And then we will be able to activate Nostalgia Shader in the following part of today's tutorial. So, here we can see that we have Minecraft loaded up. And what you want to do here is simply go to a world. So it can be a realm, server, or single player world. I'll just choose single player world. And we will be able to activate the shader. So here you can see that we don't have any shaders and that's completely normal. And to fix this, all you want to do is go to Escape, Options, Video Settings. Shader Packs, you want to select Nostalgia, here it will just darken, just click Apply, and this will just automatically activate the shader. So there you go. We now have the Nostalgia Shader Pack currently active. And yeah, that's how we get Nostalgia Shaders to work. And we can also change the settings as well if we go back to this page again, Shader Pack Settings. And here we can choose different ultra, low, and things like this. So that is also good to keep in mind. There's also more advanced things as well, but there you go. So yeah, that's how we get Nostalgia Shaders working for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you for the next one. Bye.